Hi, my name is Bob Grinier, and I'm a volunteer with the Martin Fleischmann Memorial Project, and I'm here with Henk Uren, and we, in the previous videos, have been discussing the cathode structure of the experiment that created the Vega Valley, and we have also talked about uh, potential for uh, resonance enhancement, and actually Henk did an experiment to explore this kind of what is the scale of a crack that um, leads to this resonant enhancement and so he's going to describe that for us now and it is this experiment but it wasn't quite in this arrangement was it it was a little bit more open it, wasn't it, it? Was, well I started because I st started to understand that the plasma wanted to hide and you understand that it it's doing something in the cavity I wanted to know what is the cavity so when you put a piece of brass on a piece of iron like this it starts with a cavity of zero. So, so hold on. So, how how did you support this up? Uh, I don't know anymore. I supported it somehow. Maybe you can see. No, I don't know. Oh, there was probably something. I don't know. We have to see the pictures, and it's a long time ago. Yeah, yeah. And and I put so something you on actually... top. I, I created. There is. There must have been something on top as well. So I created the structure again. So you you had this kind of angle here, didn't you? And what would we say? That's about thirty degrees, twenty five well, degrees. You, you cannot see it anymore because I had to. Um, we could. We will see later. I had to take it off with a lot of force because it was um, welded together. Mm -hmm. But you can see on here already that there is a hole in there. Mm -hmm. And this hole we will see. So let's have a look um, at that. Yeah, so there's this hole here. Yeah. And that was not there when I, uh, I, I, I found it in my tank like this. But I had to break it up like this. I wanted to see what's, what's there. I could mm -hmm. see. Because when I was looking in the tank when the process was happening, you can see a party going on again in this area. You could see very much flashing of lights and stuff. It happened, that happened a lot. So I was curious to see it, but I couldn't get it off. So I had to rip it off with very much force. And then this comes along. And then you can see that there has been a very interesting process. It, it has been eating the brass and the brass has been welded to the iron. Mm -hmm. And yeah. I had to break the structure. Right, yeah. But you can see also here is something going on. This is over the whole plate. that So there has been moving stuff mm -hmm. under the whole area, even here. Yeah. And that, that that's in itself interesting. And you so there seems to be little going on up here. There seems to be kind of like some large structures over these kind of areas. Okay, so let's just arrange this so that it was as it was. It was kind of like there. Um, okay, yeah. so this um, was a whole area that if I fold that over uh, was effectively kind of like in shadow. And uh, the term from Thomas Graham, FRS, is occlusion. Uh, and it's kind of, you can imagine it in in teeth terms it's actually used in dentistry uh it's it's the the where dirt can hide and things can hide that's the occlusion process and in 3d animation there there are these occlusion shaders and it produces dirt in the cracks so you can kind of think like that when you're when you've got a really old dirty artifact and you start polishing it the cracks are where the dirt is able to survive most because it it has protection from removal if you know what i mean and likewise if you've got a uh, velocity of things moving around in the environment in the, in the overall plasma chamber when they get into a crack there's less and less and less degrees of freedom as you come down to the the crease as it were and so this is an interesting experiment because let's say it was 20 or 30 degrees um or 35 degrees or something uh, yeah, was, it, not so much. Yeah, yeah it's, okay, so it looked about 20 degrees. But anyway, the, the the point is it's getting smaller and smaller and smaller. And you can kind of see that there's more and more and more affected. And then down here, right in this crack area, you've actually got these kind of uh, eastern plateau, Vega Valley type structures. And they, they, they're clearly coming from the crack and bleeding out a certain distance. And this is a typical sort of distance that we also saw on 
the eastern plateau of the Vega Valley. So th this is almost like it's riding along the surface, uh, but it's actually born in the crack. And obviously the action here is quite intense. So we'll, we'll have a much closer look at that. I'll see if I can zoom in to a much higher degree. Let's see if this will work. So here you can see, if I come around here, this is really quite an impressive level of uh, destruction going on here. And, and the hole actually goes all the way through to the outside, doesn't it? Yep, exactly. So... And you actually tried some other experiments, didn't you? Where you um, you tried to force specific scale holes to see what would happen, right? And you have that sample over here. Yes, um, inspired on the also the uh, the ultra experiments, you could see the little tornadoes. I thought, well, well. Let's try to induce them uh, in the metal, this iron, and um, there are pictures of it, and it really worked. So sometimes it didn't, and the things I thought it would choose first, it didn't. I can't remember uh, all the details, but you can see the activity um, going on. And then uh, this is tungsten. I thought maybe it starts burning like uh, something, but it, well things happened but this is like boring nothing happened this was boring nothing happened but here sometimes you could really see a little tornado uh, a plasma tornado so this was fun um, but you can see iron is not affected at all you can say it's like the 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 the, the former one uh, the, the 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 brass is affected but the iron is only getting dirty um but there is very much to so very often there's very much to see on the iron because all the sooth there we don't know what it is but we know it's getting black with dirt sometimes the plasma wants to eat the dirt again you can see in this these holes as well there is also grading going on in the middle it's 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 different than outside and you can see how it is an old piece of iron it's starting to rust again it's not this is rust after a while, so there is probably something deposited differently. This, this isn't rust rusted at all, is it? And, and now it's not rusted at all. It's still not rust, rusting. It's maybe preserved in, in a very special way. Mm -hmm. So there is maybe even to learn a lot now after a while, maybe even more than in the beginning, because effects like uh, this happening now. So this little piece of iron was boring for me, but maybe it's very interesting to research later. I don't know. So <clears throat> you effectively have two spikes with a crack here. You have a spike on its own, and then you have various drill scale holes, like a cluster here. Yeah. And you're saying that this was one of the most interesting, this linear structure of holes. Yeah, and but this one as well, but it was not... Um, I don't know why, but then suddenly the plasma has... A favorite hole mm -hmm. of the holes <laughs> right um so it, it, and that's something you can't explain so it could be an inspire in, inspiration to have many of these structures made in different materials and see how you can induce these kind of uh um yeah well and then <clears throat> effects dennis bushnell from nasa <clears throat> uh is a great <clears throat> proponent of using lithographic technologies to create cracks of a specific size, which speaks to this whole uh, education that came out of the Ecton work. Of course, he's not referring to that, but um, uh, uh, this work of Georgie Messiatz. Um, but what we're finding here is that actually <clears throat> a simple crack, uh, which will uh, make both Messiatz and uh, Edmund Storm, Dr. Edmund Storm's very happy, seems to be the the golden ticket to starting creating a process which will then consume matter. And in the next video, we're going to talk about an observation that many authors have had and potentially how that's uh, occurring and also how it manifests in the experiments. So with that, I'll say thank you very much, Hink. 
uh, for your time in this video and we are going to see you in the next one.